Nice launch check and countdown net. Pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello, I'm Shiva Bhardwaj, a space operations engineer here at SpaceX, and I'll be your host for the 57th Starlink mission today, set to launch from Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. Now, the teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or spacecraft, but we are watching the weather. We have a 50% probability of violation. However, we're proceeding with a T0 of 3.21 p.m. Eastern Time. The range is currently green and ready su to support liftoff just a few minutes from now. And in preparation for liftoff, actually just before we went live, the transporter erector had retracted away from the vehicle and we've opened the clamp arms around the second stage. Stage one lock flow complete. So with about T minus three minutes to go, the first stage has completely loaded propellants. That's rocket propellant one fuel and liquid oxygen on the first stage. And we're awaiting completion of a similar call out for locks load complete on the second stage at, around, at about T minus two minutes. Two lock flow complete. So with that, we have completely loaded propellants on both the first and second stages. That's fuel and liquid oxygen. It's about a million pounds of propellant across both vehicles. And today's launch marks SpaceX's 93rd from Space Launch Complex 40. Looks like a beautiful day from the ground. Out. You can see the soot on the side of this first stage, the ninth flight for this particular booster, and we will be attempting to recover it in the Atlantic Ocean on our drone ship named a shortfall of Gravitas. Talking nine is a startup. SpaceX, Falcon 9, Starlink, go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15. T minus five, four, three, two, one. 
Lift off the Falcon 9, go Falcon, good start. Down range. I want the chamber pressure is normal. Telemetry nominal. Oh, give us supersonic. You just saw there Falcon 9 transitioning to faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And with that, we are through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle is going to feel during the ascent phase. And back chill. Now we're coming up on three events. First of those will be main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then second engine start number one. Keep an eye out for those happening back to back. We just heard that call out for beginning chill of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Four events back to back, Miko, stage separation, and then Merlin vacuum engine start, followed by fairing separation. These fairings are marking their sixth flight and fifth flight, respectively, and we'll be attempting to recover them on our recovery vessels for use on a future mission. Today's mission marks the 56th overall mission to use reflown fairings. So far, burn performance looking normal right down the middle on both the vehicles. Left-hand side of your screen, you can see our first stage. It's, signal, Bermuda. it's transitioning, getting the uh, engines and the heat shield pointed down for re-entry. The right-hand side of your screen is our second stage, a view of the Merlin vacuum engine with a beautiful view of planet Earth in the background. This mission marks our 175th overall launch. The booster on the left-hand side of your screen has previously supported eight missions. Two crewed missions, the Axiom-1 and Inspiration-4 missions, NILSAT-301. Two GPS-3 space vehicle missions, both space vehicles 4 and 5, as well as three previous Starlink missions. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories.
Now, the uh, view we have right now is of the Merlin vacuum on the second stage, which is carrying our Starlink satellites to orbit. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite of internet, internet constellation that is designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations. Starlink is currently live in 38 countries and 45 markets around the world. Here's another view of the first stage. You're seeing some periodic attitude control bursts as we are reorienting the vehicle to get the engines pointed down and the heat shield pointed down. You can also see the grid fins deployed in preparation for guiding the vehicle once we get into the thicker parts of the atmosphere. Next major event for the first stage is our entry burn. It's coming up in about 20 seconds. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. So successful startup of three of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. This is slowing down the vehicle as we start getting into the atmosphere. Stage one entry burn shut down. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one transonic. Terminal guidance. So with that call out, the first stage is transitioning to speeds lower than the speed of sound. Coming up, next activity for the first stage is the landing burn. And here's a good shot of the first stage. You can actually see those grid fins actively steering the vehicle. Stage one landing burn. Startup of a single Merlin engine on the first stage in preparation for landing. Seco. Landing leg deploy. And beautiful shot of first stage landing. That marks the 130th landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. Insertion. Our 57th overall Starlink mission and our 37th launch of the year. And in case you missed it, there was a call out there as well for second engine cutoff on the second stage. And just confirming that we are in the intended orbit. And we did get a call out there for good orbit. So with that, the second stage is carrying our 53 Starlink satellites to their intended destination. And with that, we are going to wrap up our launch coverage for today. Thanks a bunch for tuning in. And be sure to check out our social media platforms for confirmation of Starlink deploy. We'll see you again real soon.